theme of this block, the following hour, is communicating architecture. And with us here today is Lucia Bartel from uh, Hamburg. Is that right? Yes, hello. Hello. Now, Hi. you are a photographer, is that right? Yeah, I'm a photographer and filmmaker. Yes. Yeah, that's very nice. You have today uh, two films that uh, are, are I, I would describe as portrait of these houses that you've been uh, um, um, studying, you can say. And uh, yes. I think with, uh, without further ado, we should go into the first film and then we can talk about it later. Thank you. What a lovely movie, Lucia. Tell me, how was it like uh, working with uh, architecture as a photographer? Um, actually, um, it was not my origin at the beginning. I'm coming from a journalist background, uh, but I got a client um, who was very convinced in my architectural skills and he, he is also the, the client of this uh, little movie. And we developed together this idea. And actually, um, it is really about light, feeling light, understanding light in an architectural space or in any space, it can be also on the streets. And to find out um, what, what can be shown you know, and how can you compose a picture which really gives an, an idea uh, of, of this space. It's very interesting. And uh, you've used time lapses and uh, what kind of technic, tec uh, or technical like uh, instruments have you used to get the moving effects on your shots? Actually, it was a, a slider uh, of a, only a meter of length. Um, I think in some pictures we took uh, bigger ones, but um, you, it was uh, with a little motor and you could program it. So you have to think about how long, which time you take and how many frames. And if there is a lot of moving like with, the, with leaves outside and you have not enough uh, pictures, it's getting a little... Um, uh, how you say it, um, not, you know, um, you have this effect of uh, shadow light in a very fast way. Sometimes it can be interesting, but actually what we were looking for was to, to show this sliding through the, th through the space, like if you're, um, you are in space. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what does the process look like from an idea to a film? Um, uh, like a lot of projects, this starts with uh, looking at a lot of other clips. <laughs> this is mostly uh, where you get your own inspiration. And um, so here in this case, my client and me were really working close together because he saw one of, of these time-lapse movies. And so we developed our own idea um, with, with this uh, his houses. And actually, um, the idea was, of course, showing like this amazing bathroom, this incredible uh, kitchen, but also showing like more poetic um, pictures, like uh, like the sun is coming through the leaves, and because actually in this picture you don't see a lot of the house, but it's part of of a, of an atmosphere. And, and for him and for me too, it was very important to, to capture this. And, and uh, actually the whole movie was, uh, was made in only one day. So it was a, a tough day. <laughs> um, but yeah, from really early in the morning till the evening. And also this last picture where you have this uh, day, day, night shift. Um, it, it took, I don't know, I think two, two and a half hours. So 
actually most of the time you're just sitting there <laughs> and, and listening to the click, click, click. And um, actually it's, it's absolutely not boring because you start contemplating what's happening and it's, it, it, even it takes so long, it's very exciting. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine it's um, your group kind of working with time at a different scale since we humans, we usually uh, watch things through 30 FPS, but here the hours are um, shorter, so to say. And uh, that time scale is, uh, I think, for your project while um, studying lights in this architectural um, uh, forms and buildings is um, brings a whole new perspective on, uh, you know, what, how the, how the light plays works within the building. Yes. And and I think this is really the connection to to architects architects like like you like you that you because your your work is also a lot about light and and what I already saw in in the in the stream um it is really important for everyone who lives in the house to have a beautiful light and can be shown on film or papers. Sorry to say your connection is a bit uh, rough there. Could you say the last thing again? Um, the, the connection... Oh, sorry, it's still uh, it's a bit rough. Can so, you look at the movie? Another yeah, you have a, another film hmm. which we're uh, going to watch right now to, uh, yeah. while we work out the technical difficulties. This was a house uh, in uh, in Austria uh, near near Vienna, and um, another another style of house, as you can as you can see, uh, less modern with a lot of wood. Um, the clients, the the owners of the house, um, they they had a big uh, connection with Russia. It's uh, pretty interesting, also from the insides. Yeah, it, um, it it they they used a lot of this uh, dark wood and and the um, um, and every everything was full of um, uh, animal skin. Ah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, it was it was a pretty nice um, interior, uh, but very different to the others. So less minimal. So uh, the idea was also to to work um, uh, to to show more of the decoration uh, to use the the pool. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello, Lucia. Yeah. I think we have some difficulty with the sound here. I think it's zoom. Normally, it's it's like slowing down. Yeah. Uh, but I uh, just yes, want to say that uh, Lucia Bartel, she's an excellent photographer and she has made many interesting photos in architecture and uh, you should look more at her site luciabartel.com. So thank you very much uh, Lucia to be here with us and we go on with another film. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Welcome. <laughs>